Today we're bringing you an 8th grader's delight or a stoner's delight or a stoned 8th grader's delight. I definitely used to eat these stone in grade 9 for sure. It's black hoodie, I'm back cooking these goodies. Look at these views from cooking these foods. Yeah. Anyways, Pizza Pops. <laughs> these are what caught my eye. A, they were on sale. Generally, Pizza Pops were like $6.99, $7.99. It's like almost a dollar a pocket a pop. But these were $2.99 for four. So it's like pretty hot deal. Now, do I eat Pizza Pops often? No. Do I remember them from my childhood? Yes. Are they delicious? Secretly, yes. Do I love the gluten-y weird texture of them? Yes, I do. I don't bake them. I microwave them. Anyways, these is what caught my eye. These are Frank's Red Hot pepperoni and bacon pizza pops so it's got frank's red hot sauce infused into the sauce inside of the pocket the sort of empanada ish thing if you will and so it caught my eye all right so 2.99 for those special ticket item same as these now these are deluxe and that's what's oozing out here and that plays into the next thing i gotta talk about is there's many ways to skin a pizza pop, like there's many ways to skin a cat, and everybody's got their own way to skin a pizza pop, and I like to do it a bunch of different ways. You know, there's surgical, there's handheld, there's scraping the insides, there's all kinds of ways. So, anyways, that's Deluxe. Deluxe was never my favorite when I was younger. I was always partial to uh, pepperoni, and I was always partial, really partial, still partial to the three cheese. I love the three cheese. But anyways, we have a leaning tower of pizza pops. Okay. And in true stoner fashion, <laughs> we got to come in with a full Shug Knight dock piece. So before we do anything more, we must pop up, pop up, pour. And it's been a while since we pop up, pop it in here. So we're going to bring it back for today out of the can. It's always best pouring out of a 355 can. It's just my favorite way to pour. I'm not going to lie. It's just just is for some reason and uh here we go dr pepper being one of the greatest treats on earth mixing up that net of sand now i don't have any runny ranch for today's video and there's a few reasons for that we can maybe have a little chat about that but i did have a spare creamy garlic dipping sauce from a uh, pizza franchise that will use that up today so the ice is in full float effect oh my god that's different that as soon as it hit my lips that sugar con sugar content was like yeah this is what's up when it bubbles and fizz Cheers. Okay, so I got the two, the top two are the deluxe, and the bottom two are the uh, Frank's rendition. I think I'll just lay them out flat here so we can work some magic. Okay, so like I said, many ways to skin a pizza pop, and this one's already skinning itself, right? So sometimes you get an oozer, and with an oozer who's already cut himself open. I just like to clean up the edge. Man, when's the last time I had a pizza pop? And try to handle it so that uh, I don't burn my hand off because pizza pockets are heat devils. Like they are just, they are heat deceptors. They are devils of heat. That's the hardest thing about cooking a pizza pop. You're 15 seconds away from having chunky cold cheese and meat and everything else being hot and hot. Or you're 15 seconds away from literally getting third degree burns on your entire mouth and regretting even wanting to eat a pizza pop. Okay? So. Right, right there. Look, uh, that's what I'm talking about. The devil just activated on the side of my mouth. Ooh. And I almost got got. Mm. 
they're piping. They're rowdy, rowdy piping right now. I put four in for six minutes. Generally a, a minute something per pop. But man, this is one of the methods, is, is, is the squisher method. You kind of squish your innards to the edge. You get your dunk. And you just very tenderly kind of suck it out. <laughs> so as not to burn yourself. I love Frank's on pizza. One of my favorite little hot sauces to sploosh on a pizza. Sometimes I do get a crazy craving because I generally ranch the shit out of my pizza, right? But sometimes I get a crazy craving for like a just a plain cheese. with just Franks on a per bite basis. Shake, 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 little bite. Shake, 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 little bite, right out of the bottle. Because I will say that Franks, the bottle of Franks, the nipple has a great delivery system. You know how some things can just come out too fast it has like a nice, it just kind of double dutches in there. Like it just kind of, you know, it plays the wall a bit, but then it comes in and it comes in and out and it kind of, it just works. All right. So for this one, this is the, this is one of the special ticket ones with the Franks, what we're talking about, right? And this is a method. You can just do the old half, the cross section. You can see what you're working with. So... The sauce color doesn't look that, that much different. I'm just wondering <clears throat> what kind of waft that spice is going to give off. It doesn't. Also, if you'll notice, see that little glue, gluey ring around the rosy there? That's why microwaving <clears throat> a pizza pop is the best. You get that little gluten ring. Okay, uh, I gotta see what this is like, obviously without the vet first. Okay, okay. Initially, I was like, where is the friend? Where is any of this at? Then the spice came. It's a creeper. But it doesn't get too hot. That being said, it doesn't taste like Frank's at all. It's almost like there's just like cayenne pepper in there. Because with Frank's you get a notable vinegar aspect that doesn't exist in here, like at all. Hmm. Hello. I bought these the other day, and um, they were in a freezer where, like, it was very, the, it said two ninety nine, two ninety nine, but there was the regular ones, the deluxe, and then these ones didn't have a tag near them saying anything, and the other ones, the other, the tags for the other ones specified the deluxe and the one, so I figured these would be either normal price or more expensive. So the dude on Till was floating around. I asked him. I 
and he's like, I think they should all be two ninety nine. And he's like, damn, that's a good deal. So he sneaked himself a pack and put them near it. He slid them in the, like upon checkout, you know how there's the cool, the, the last second cooler that tries to get you to buy a bottle of pop. <laughs> he slid a box and by his tail. <laughs> so that he could buy some for himself to take home. And I, I noticed him doing that when uh, when I was waiting for my deli meat to be sliced, having this conversation. And he goes, <laughs> but he's like, even if they're not two ninety nine, I'll still just charge you two ninety nine because that's what it says here. So I got you. I was like, all right, sick. Hook me up, dog. I will continue that story, but we need to do this way to skin a pizza pot. And this is called the surgery method. I mentioned this in the beginning. This was a move as a child. And that's when you just cut the seam and you reveal the interior, right? You butterfly that shit. And what we would do is quite literally just, you just scrape those insides. You just eat the interior first. And then you're left with the dough only. Portion of the pop. And that in itself is an entirely different eating experience just the dough and my sister who's always been afraid of meat and things like that since a child she loved a just dough a lot of times she would make the pizza pops cut them open and like scrape off her shit and give it to me and eat just the dough. There is something about it though. It's a texture. That will not be denied. Alright, so I go to the till. And I'm like, did you pull yourself a pack of pizza pops for later? Yeah, man. I'm like, nice. It's like, it's a good deal. Good deal. I can't pass it up. So he rings these up. He's like, oh, they are $2.99. So you're all good. But no matter what, I'd have hooked you up. And it was like 45 minutes before closing. I was like, yeah, I'm just going to. Head home, pop some, well, smoke one, he said, <laughs> pop those in and, and toss on this uh, Je this Jeffrey Dahmer shit on Netflix. And I'm like, yo, I'm, I'm like six episodes deep. I just paused that shit to come here and get food. <laughs> He's like, is it good? And I'm like, yeah, man, it's like, it, you're gonna, you, you, you will like it. Like, I'm pretty sure you'll like it. If you're into that shit at all, like, even if you aren't, it's just well made. You, you'll probably like it. Obviously, there's just the regular way now. It's not bursting. You don't cut it. You just eat it like you're supposed to. And, um, yeah, we just had a little exchange. And it's been, like, probably a week since then. And I just checked out with him just now today. I went to grab a few things. And I'm like, how was Dahmer? <laughs> you get it finished? And he's like, yeah, man. <laughs> he's like, it was super good. He's like, I was, I was definitely satisfied with that ending. The, you know, poetic justice kind of thing, he said. I 
and that, uh, you know, he got what was, he's like, yeah, Dahmer got what was coming to him, and he just kind of accepted that fate, right? Spoiler alert, but not really. We all know in the Jeffrey Dahmer story that he ends up dead in jail. After being in there for like two and a half years or something like that. But yeah, had a good little chat with him. Shot the breeze. And here I am talking about all, all the ways in which you skin a piece of pop. <laughs> What's that about? <sighs> All right, well, these are what hooked me into this video. And I gotta tell you, I'm not a fan. They don't do anything for me at all. Uh, I, I much prefer the Deluxe or a Three Cheese or just a regular Pep and Bacon. They're definitely spicy, they definitely have a kick. I definitely have a little sheen and gloss on me right now from it. Um, but like I said, it's lacking that vinegar component. It just, it is just a, a hot uh, heatness to it. It's, it just feels like it's cayenne. It doesn't have the Frank's flavor. And honestly, just they were very, very meh. So if you're a pizza pop enthusiast and a hot sauce enthusiast, I say try them, but you are better off just getting the pepperoni and bacon ones and taking rant, er, Frank's and dousing it with Frank's and having that experience rather than it being infused into the pocket. So those are all the ways to skin a pizza pop in true stoner food fashion. Till the next one, you know what to do. Eat good, live well, stay true.